So this would have been a whole lot to write, so I decided to do a video, excuse how I look. The other night, my son's so-called friend, Jeremy Manning, left my son basically to die on Highway 2 out here in Washington State near um, Leavenworth. He literally let him out by the side of the road. He won't give him back his phone or his smock. Um, and I had to drive out there about 11, 12 at night. That was the scariest ride of my life. Um, some part of Stevens Pass, which now I actually hate Stevens Pass. I've never been on Stevens Pass, but after the other night, I hate it. I will not go to Leavenworth unless I'm on a charter bus or something, or if I can fly in. That is, Highway 2 is scary. So if you've ever driven it, congrats, because I never want to drive it again. Um, I ran up on a boulder or a rock or whatever when it gets really elevated, and it looks like there's either clouds or so much fog you can't even see anything until you're up on it. And thank God I didn't roll, you know, that it, I didn't just hit it directly. A part of my car hit a little bit of it, but you know, God gave us traveling grace. You know, this is a pra praise report. You know, my son almost got hit by a car, the second car almost hit him, I believe, and then stopped and helped him and brought him back to Leavenworth. So Jeremy Manning almost killed my son. I never, ever want to see Jeremy Manning again. I know I have to forgive because that is what God commands, but we do not ever have to have them in our lives. We finally made it back safe. It was the scariest ride going back. We did not get home to Renton, Washington until 5.30 a.m. Praise God that we're here, that we have a car, and nothing bad happened to either one of us.